throughout the history of sound art, artists have tried to push the boundaries of sound by practicing several techniques. Such as, futurist artist Luigi Russolo invented noisy instruments to implement industrial machine sounds into musical compositions in the 1913. In the 1930s, John Cage attached a piece of screws and bolts between the strings of a regular piano to extend its sound dynamics. In the late 1950s, Yanis Senekis employed mathematical paradigms such as stochastic processes and game theory to compose contemporary music pieces. And today, many of the musicians and sound artists use technological tools pushing the limits and revealing the new possibilities of sound with the same purpose. Live coding is one of these technological paradigms. In short, it makes possible to create sound by writing textual commands. Live coding is not a software application or a programming language. It can be considered as a fairly new programming practice that builds code structures during live performance to generate audiovisual stimuli. It allows performers to push boundaries of computers as a medium beyond commercial software applications and hardware equipment. For instance, the performer can play a sound file by pushing a computer mouse or a MIDI controller button in one second of a time. Executing the same action with live coding practices can be... So what if the performer needs to play a sound sample 100 times in a short duration? Of course pushing a button 100 times in one second is beyond a human capacity. But it's possible to play a sound sample 100 times or even million times using live coding practices by just adding a few commands to the same code block. Live coding has gained popularity over the last decades. Some of the important milestones are, in the early 2000s, the electronic music band called Slop performed at various places in London by using early live coding practices. Changing Grammars is thought to be the first organized event on live audio programming at University of Fine Arts of Hamburg in winter 2004. The Top Lab organization founded in 2004 to explore and promote live coding as an international organization. In 2011, McLean and Collins coined the word Algorave, which is short for Algorithmic Rave, as an algorithmic dance event where performers play music with live coding techniques and audience dance to music generated from lines of code during the shows. Algorithms accelerate the spreading of live coding style around the world in different countries. One of the main reasons behind this fact is the community itself. Most of the algorithms from beginning to the present has been streaming through online video sharing platform. Thanks to this, many people from different locations in the world can watch the events and being inspired by the algorithmic music compositions. Another significant aspect considered to be the publication of academic studies and research papers related to algorithmic music practices. As a result, several live coding tools and software applications are released that are mostly free of charge or open source by the community. Besides the opportunities offered by live coding practice, it has also some limitations. Laptop-based improvisations require high levels of concentration state. As a result of performing algorithmic music with a laptop during a performance causes the lack of communication with the audience. The gestural expression of the artist is limited to laptop's keyboard and the coding screen. 
Blackwell and Nash pointed this issue as liveness in their paper, and they say, when liveness is lacking, the audience feels less a part of the performance and may find it harder to understand what they hear or should expect given the limited visual feedback. To overcome the lack of liveness issue, performers combine various visual stimuli with the code as a visual feedback. So while the performer is focusing on the code, the audience can be involved to the performance flow during the show. The presentation of the written codes or abstract sound reactive graphics to the screen in a live coding performance is not different than a guitar player's performance in front of the audience on stage. Both of them create an interaction between the performer and the viewer. The audience does not need to know all the music theory to enjoy the band's performance on stage. Nor is it necessary to be a computer scientist to engage with a live coding performance. Projecting visuals help to reduce the negative effects of demanding concentration state for the artist. Coding screens or audio reactive graphics increases the engagement with the audience. Live coding is not only a new computer programming paradigm but also it's a new environment or instrument to create audiovisual contents on the fly. In addition, most of the live coding environments are free and independent from any commercial company. Any curious individual can download the source code and modify the existing functionalities regarding his or her needs. In that sense, live coding empowers users creating and collaborating together with others. As a fairly new emergent practice, there is a space for greater discussion around the performative effect of coding as an expression in real time, and how the modifying code relates to the sound. 